1958 Fender Tweed Vibrolux. This is the 5F11 circuit. It has one 10 inch speaker and two 66 power tubes, tube rectified, and uh, has uh, two 12A7 preamp tubes in it. Overall, the cabinet is just about the same size as a 5E3 Tweed Deluxe, uh, but having a 10 inch speaker in there, it definitely gives it a little bit more room to breathe cabinet feels a little bit more open because you have more more empty space in the cabinet this has uh, one volume a tone control and then it also has a speed and depth for the tremolo the tremolo on these amps is pretty primitive being that it's one of the first fender amps to have tremolo on it so it's a bit different than what you're gonna find on the later amps like in the brown and black face eras but it's a super warm tremolo um, it definitely has a nice pulse to it, but the speed isn't going to give you as much range as a blackface amp would. This is a single channel amp, but there is three inputs. So you're going to have input one is going to be the hottest and three is going to be the coolest. So if you're using really hot pickups, you might want to go through number three. It's going to give you that pad. So this amp is all original with the uh, original Jensen P10R speaker with the original cone in it. And it has all the yellow Astron caps. The only thing that has been changed is the power cable. It's been switched to a three prong grounded power cable. And the filter caps have also been replaced, but I did insert them into the old Astron sleeves just to maintain that original look whenever you open up the back panel. So even though they were running two 6v6s in here, the fixed bias actually gives it quite a bit more headroom than a Tweed Deluxe would. Uh, the Tweed Deluxe is rated a little bit higher in wattage, but since it's cathode bias, it does break up quite early. And on this, you can really get it to probably about six or seven before you start getting into that breakup territory. And then anything over nine, to 10 is gonna give you that real raunchy tweed breakup that the tweed amps are known for. These old Jensen's are hands down my favorite speakers for guitar. Uh, my concert has four of them in it and that thing just sounds absolutely amazing. No speaker to me sounds better than an old Jensen P10R from the 50s and this one definitely doesn't disappoint. So today I'm gonna be playing my strap through this and uh, I'll go through a couple different settings on it, um, go through the tone and volume differences that you can get and um, see how it sounds. So I'll start off with the volume on, the volume's on three and I have my tone all the way down on one so you can see how dark it is and I'm playing through the neck pickup on the strap. As you can see, it's super warm. I'll turn the tone up to about four. Still pretty warm, but now we're at uh, straight up, it's at six and a half. And uh, where it really starts to shine is when you get the tone up to about 10 or so on the on the control. And uh, with the tone all the way up. So now I have my volume set to five and a half and my tone is still on 10.
turn it up to about eight and a half, nine, you're definitely gonna get a bit more breakup on this, so. Absolutely great amp. Like I said, it's the perfect size for me. Uh, you can get it to break up and it's not too loud. You can get some great cleans at pretty usable volumes and uh, you know, simple controls and has that classic tweed sound. So thanks for checking it out. I've got more videos on this amp as well as some other really cool vintage Fender amps. So check those out if you feel like it. Thanks.